Yep. Oh, thank <laughs> <laughs> Check out my snapper! The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants. We've just arrived at our grounds to try to catch some big kings. Today we have Andre on board. He's come to join us yet again. Nathan is going to be doing the fishing today until he gets over it and he wants to do some filming. I've said that I'm happy to do filming. I am, kind of. It's springtime. The kingies are here in huge numbers. They're busting up on the surface and I want to catch them. But sometimes you've got to let NATO have a go because that's good, because then he wants to film me lots. So, here we go. I think it's gonna be a good day. We caught some liveies in the harbour, and it's about to get real. It's gonna get a strike straight away. You reckon? Yeah. I hope you're right, man. He's got a carpenter on, though. Heard those carpenters are pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. <laughs> Andre's going to put a live bait out and we're going to tick around with a livey out the back. Springtime is fantastic for catching kings on top water gear, but always bring your liveys from the harbour because man, they catch some fish. Real hard to see, but there's massive schools of bait with kingies swimming all over the surface. Nathan just pretty much cast right in front of them all. What are you going to do? Oh, almost look back! Oh, whoa! <laughs> Oh, that live bait's going to get smashed in no time. Right in the money. Come on, honey. Acres and acres and acres and acres of bait. Lots of tension in the boat. Andre's had a live bait stolen already. Nathan gets follows all the time. Warming up, man. Bring it on. Lots of bait in front of the boat. It's going to be action packed. Might have to go looking. Kingies have been very elusive, but they're here somewhere. Just typical, eh? Milan puts down the phone for five seconds, picks up a rod, and my boosh! <laughs> Put on my favourite stick bait, more importantly. <laughs> I'm glad someone can knock one. I've seen a couple, how's that? Only a little fish, eh? Oh, wouldn't say little, Nato. Well, I haven't seen a real big one. <laughs> oh, maybe it's not that little. Well, maybe it's little, right? You can give it a bit more credit. <laughs> it's pulling strings. 
<laughs> That's your um is that the FG knot right there? Yep. <laughs> just a dog fight, he's just shaking his head down here under the boat. It's a nice little fish. I wouldn't even said that little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to have a cast just to see if they were here. <laughs> Don't be sorry, it's what we're here to do. Oh, look at oh that. Hamish, eh? Hamish, your lures are uh, kicking my butt. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a carpenter. Here you go, Andre. It's a good one. It's a good fish. It's a real good fish. Oh, Andre's getting kicked. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that, man. Well done. Now this lure has some kind of secret mojo. I don't know what it is, but it just catches kingies. Nathan's been stick baiting for like half an hour, 45 minutes. Three casts and I catch a kingfish. It is just the legendary stick bait popper. And that is what it catches. <laughs> it is just a legendary lure. Nice fish. Are we going to let him go or is he food? Food. Food? Food fish. First one for the chili bin? Yep. We'll go over here. Um, oh! Are you got more follows? Yeah, it's the cool lure man. It's that lure. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good swirl too, Andre. Yeah. Even with a very unorthodox style, you catch big kings on that lure. Spring kings, you can't beat it. It's just incredible how the kings come to the surface and they just want to feed and they're hungry. What we're finding is moving the stick baits and the poppers at a faster rate. Nathan's real slow and lethargic on his retrieve and even he's starting to realise that moving your bait quicker gives you a much better hook up rate. Listen to it. <laughs> Did you see my kingfish I caught, Nato? Yeah, I got shut up, eh? I think I'm going to be the phone man again real soon. First spring kingfish. Oh, mate. First Mr. Honadreas. First king in a long time. Far too long. He's giving you a good dusting next to the boat, brother. It's not that small a fish, man. It's as big as my man's one. Nah, it wouldn't be as big as mine. Oh, I reckon it is. Oh, you right there, Andre? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come land for you, man. Still quite close to that. I reckon that's your uh, home fish. You're a good eater. That's a beautiful... Whoa! <laughs> Maybe it won't be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're not taking that fish home. <laughs> as soon as he heard that, he was off, eh? <laughs> I ain't no tuck in there. <laughs> Straight back into it. Alright, if you can't beat them, join them. Secret stash on the dashboard. No secrets here, man. Oh, it's got two trebles on it. Well, you can take the trebles off. They're both barbless. Sick. First cast, here we go. If I catch a fish on my like first five casts, me and you need to have a chat, Hamish. <laughs> me and you need to be... Like this, my man. Oh, he hooks up straight away! <laughs> Did you get it? Oh, look, the king, he's busting up at the front of the boat, too. First cast, lands and he hooks up. How cool was that? I fished for literally, what, 45 minutes with a carpenter. Had two big kings have a go at it, but they didn't touch the lure. Hamish's lure hits the water and gets eaten. <laughs> or gets hit. The fish touched the lure. I just didn't hook it. I won't make the same mistake twice. Milan just picked up a rod. <laughs> well, Andre and I are pretty good at fishing. Nathan, well, not so much, but he is a cameraman most of his life. We're going to pull up and we're going to head to Tuhu just to go have a bit of a look and see what's available to us. We'll probably find ourselves back here again, but for now, one for me, one for Andre, 
and none for Nathan. It's been a fantastic start to the day. I filmed a real cool time lapse on the way out. <laughs> the crime lapses count? Maybe they do. <laughs> Time to go. With all fishing, it's a little bit like go and explore, see where they are. We had a couple of kings up, but we did want to have a look at another reef because it fished really well the other day. We are a little bit earlier in the day and it does fish better in the evening. But you can only but go and try. We've got a livey in the water, stick bait out, just going to mosey around the reef, see where the fish are hanging out. Hopefully we find them. Nice waves on the rock over there. Andre's running a live bait out the back. I would have thought live baits would have got smashed. Not yet. Not yet. What are you doing, NATO? I'm trying my best this to catch a fish. Do you want me to do a couple of casts for you and bring them up? <laughs> You're behind the phone, mate. I'll just raise them for you, you know? <laughs> I'm pretty good for that. Proved myself before, just before, remember? Yep. Imagining I won't be living that one down. How's the light not been on the camera? Uh, I actually got like fishing again. I'd like it better if I hooked a big kingy. You will. Andre can do it, you can do it. Yep. He even did it on a stick bait, did you see it? He did. Pulled it out from under me. He did. Did you film the strike? I did. Andre strike? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Well done. I was talking to you at the time and I swung onto it and all the white water is in the background. Oh, nice. I'm a good cameraman. Yeah. I didn't think you got the strike. I'm really, really good. That's okay. Some say some of the best there is. <laughs> well, as good as the reef looks, there ain't no kingies here at the moment. Well, nothing that Nathan and Andre can pull up anyway. I think for now it's time to go and have some lunch. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. The kings come to the surface in the evening. Maybe it's here, maybe it's around the corner. The kings are definitely around the corner. I think that's where you're gonna see us and we might pop back here again. Anyway, lunchtime. Maybe a soft bait in the shallows and maybe a big snapper if Nathan can pull it off. Now we're fishing, Milan. No, now we're snapper fishing. Well, yeah, I like snapper fishing. So much more to look at. There is. Nato gets his first victim. Ooh, it's only taken half the day. But it's a snapper. Yeah. Whoa, it's taken line. <laughs> it's on a little bit of a, uh, a bit light drag. silly drag. Ah. Still taking line though. Yeah, it's coming home. We're eating snapper tonight and kingfish. Well, you can't catch kingfish, but you can damn well catch some snapper, bro. Yeah. I'm glad I can get something. Don't get the bait board all dirty. Got my bread, got my lunch going down there. Nice snapper, bro. I'll chuck it straight in the chili bin, eh? Yeah. He looks as good as his tastes, I promise. One bite, one fish. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Let's do that again. Chopped up loaf. I'm trying to make lunch and NATO just keeps on catching snappers. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> we'll catch it. It's up on the surface. Should have just come snapper fishing today. <laughs> we are snapper fishing today. <laughs> At least you're smiling. You like catching these, don't you? It's the biggest snapper we've caught in a long time, brother. Pretty bad when that's the biggest snapper you've caught in a long time, eh? Yeah, but come on. I'm not complaining. 
Don't get me wrong. We are a camping show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a ripper. I reckon two more like that, and that'll be soft baiting done for me. Four of those would be awesomeness. Is that a fish? Oh, At the bottom. Is it a fish? Next up, Japanese mayo. Now we've got Japanese sesame seed sauce. It's all about the sauces. Bit of caramelized onion. Starting to get there. Then along comes the coleslaw. Man, I'm making NATO a good lunch today. While I'm cooking lunch, NATO reckons he's getting good bites from big snappers. That's a good one, man. Come on, catch it. Right. Off the front of that rock, bro. Finished off with a heap of salami. That one. <laughs> That's beautiful, Nato. Oh, it feels so good. Really. You're catching lunch while I'm making lunch. <laughs> Yeah, it's only lunch size. Nice to have a rest from the kingfish though, eh? Get it oh, all back again. It's just nice being on something with a bit more of a... Something to look at, you know? Rather than just water. Water, water, water. They're pretty good lunchtime snapper, I'll call them. Waiting for the kingy bite snapper. Yep. What a horrible thing to do. Hello, Mr. Snapper. Ooh. They work too. It's gonna hurt, eh? Only for people that have first bite syndrome. <laughs> if anyone's got a home remedy to first bite syndrome, I'd love to hear it. Very good, brother, thank you. Milan managed to make lunch, form himself making lunch, drive the boat, and now he even managed to catch a fish while we're eating lunch. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Talk about getting beaten at my own game. Did you see my big snapper I caught for you, Nato? <laughs> It's a bigger snapper. <laughs> if you're going to be good at something, you may as well be really good at something. <laughs> you like that, Nato? Well Just done, man. You. Thanks, brother. That's awesome. You're, you're over awesome, man. Right? Bait on the surface. Me oh, I love like, springtime. Melan's like, I don't like cameraman. I no. want to catch a kingfish. Aren't well, you that guy that's already caught one today? If I catch one, one, then you've got the whole night to yourself. Yeah, that's what you said before. Yeah, but you didn't <laughs> catch one. <laughs> no, you caught one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll do like four or five casts, catch one, and then it's all yours. I love the confidence, man. What's that break in the surface? That's a seal. Kurawai.
Hard being a cameraman, eh? What's that? Hard being a cameraman. Can't say. Yeah, you just want to pick up a rod and cast. Yeah. You're like, I'm sure I can get a bite if I was fishing. <laughs> it's a bit like that, is it? Hundred percent that's a kingy, look at it. I reckon there's a kingfish right there trying to eat What's something. That? He's been on the surface for a long time. Just trying to get in casting range. That's a big fish. Get your lines in there guys. There oh is. there he is! It's a big king, you're chasing something. Yeah, there. get it in there, get it in there. Where is he? Just cast in there, where oh, he was. Oh yeah, but I'm going to cast and then he's going to surface miles away from where I cast. No, the splashing should get him up. Come on, hook him, Nato. There he is. Yeah. Over there, yeah, Andre. Gonna... Cast, cast, cast. Oh. Go, Andre, go. Come on, anyone gets a cast in there, you got to fish. Oh, wrong way, Andre. Oh, look at the big yellow tail. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Oh, they... <laughs> We've just been watching a big kingy up on the surface feeding. Car wire everywhere, turns working everywhere. We knew the kingies were going to be in here this evening. Had a look around the island. This is the only place we're finding them. I think he got the bait down deep. He was on there for a while. I turned around, there's line just peeling off your reel. <laughs> You're just happily stick baiting away out the oh, back. <laughs> Had a little line out, eh? He's already Good been in the weed. <laughs> NATO stick baiting hard while the action down the back of the boat goes on. Oh, I'm waiting to see how big this fish is. It's a nice fish, look at it. Oh, on Andreas. Beautiful fish. Hasn't given up yet. Been here today. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he's got a couple more casts in you. Little squat position you got going down there, Andre? Yeah, How's try that? To, <laughs> try to save the back a little bit. You, know? <laughs> you got try the perfect rod for saving thing. your back. Leland's <laughs> <laughs> fully stitched you up on that one. Oh, I got an obsession with that long rod at the moment, but man, it catches some fish. The lucky rod is the lucky rod. It is. Starting to hear a bit of squealing, that's even better. If you could bring them onto the other side of the boat, that would be awesome. Okay. Look at the size of that thing. You're right there, Nato. It's a big fish, bro. I'll get there. Look at that. On Andreas. Well, it's the second one to get to the boat, so it's good to get one in. <laughs> oh, cheers, bro. It's all yours, dude. That one's coming home. The hook's down deep. Oh, you cut the hook off? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nice fish, Andre. Beautiful fish. He's gonna taste awesome. <laughs> One good thing about kingies, eh, though, you fill it them and you got meat for ages. Heaps of meat. We haven't been holding one of them for a while, so we may as well get some nice photos. Been a long it? time. Way too long. You might only have caught one fish, but you made it a good one, eh? I've got two to the boat. I've got one in. <laughs> Quick release on the other one, eh? How many kingies you, brother? Oh, come on, man. You did I waste thought, me at the snapper. I thought we were mates. <laughs> Mate, I was going to catch one soon. You can see it. You actually sense it. hope so. I've done enough casts. Well, we are back at the reef 
and hopefully this afternoon produces lots of kingfish coming to the surface and feeding. But it just doesn't quite have that feel or that vibe. So what I think Nathan's going to do is he's going to get some soft baits and he's going to flick them around. Going to have a little bit of a stick bait as well. Pretty much fish our day out. It's 5.30, we've got about an hour and a half. Then we'll have to head in. Nathan just filmed a seal. You doing wouldn't barrel believe. Rolls. I'm like David Attenborough. You should see the seal footage I just got. It looked insanely cool. He was coming up to the surface and like porpoising and then drum rolling and then coming up the surface upside down. He was cool, man. David Attenborough, eat your heart out. We'll be selling footage of David Attenborough soon. <laughs> David, did you hear that? We're coming for you, brother. supposed to be me fishing today and me land forming today that was the plan and every time I look around all I see is this well, it's my fault, actually. <laughs> me land yeah it's, it's my turn man oh you said you were going to chuck a soft bait so I got the rod out well Andre got the rod out I for you and I saw it there and I thought oh, I'll just flick I have out. to stop stick baiting to pick up the phone to film him catching a big snapper well, I caught it off the surface in 20 meters <laughs> That's where the big ones are, man. It is a big one. Look at the size of it. Yeah, it's a good fish. Where's the net? Yeah, where is the net? We don't believe in nets. <laughs> hey, NATO. So look at my cameraman skills. See? <laughs> my cameraman skills are so good that I give you the ability to film all my great fish. I can't snappers. fish because i got to film you, man. Come on, man. Nah, that's a good snapper, dude. Off the surface <laughs> in 20 metres. Beautifully done. Oh, it must be slack tide. Lucky for him, there's <laughs> like four snapper in the chilli bin already. Hey, it must be slack tide. Nah, yeah, it it must be. I reckon we have just spot locked on a huge school of snapper and every single time, every single time you cast a lure out there, you're going to hook up. Watch this. Do you want me to cast your rod for you, Nato? Cast your rod for me. <laughs> I'll cast it and put it in the rod holder for you. No, no, yeah, if you're gonna if you oh, if no. you're gonna fish, fish. No, you, it's yours. Dude. It's all yours. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with it. I'm going back to being cameraman. I've done my bit, you know. Oh, I reckon this I reckon Meanland's cast is gonna catch Milan. a snapper. Yeah, it did already. <laughs> This is your fish. <laughs> I didn't even touch the rod, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, brother. <laughs> that was still on the floor. Well, it proves the point. We've just spot locked on a big school of snapper, and every time you cast out there, you're just going to hook one instantly. Wonder if there's any real big monsters out there, Molin. There's some real, real big ones down there. Okay, I'm going to stop fishing now, Nato, and you can have your rod. <laughs> it's such a problem, eh? <laughs> what a thing to be moaning about. Melan, Melan, give me back my rod, you're catching too many fish, man. How's that? Three casts, three snapper. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to figure out how to get a big one. There's a massive school of fish there, and if we keep casting soft baits, we're just going to get that size one after the other. But, but you might cast... pull a real big one out. Yeah, that's what I mean. If we cast a sinking stick bait, we might get a yep. monster. Or I've got those paddle tails. Try that big paddle tail next. Okay. Awesome. It's bronzy too, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> you right there? Yeah, I got him. Oh, nice. And the rod holder. Are we moving? Yeah, every Quite time. Often you get a lot of fishing. No, we're on spotlight. Eh? No, we're on spotlight. We're okay. Don't worry about that big wave breaking behind you, Nato. Get <laughs> <laughs> on you, mate. That's a bit bigger, eh? Yeah. That might get us a big one. There you go, Scotty. We're going to see if we can catch a monster snapper on your bait junkie. Well, it looks kind of like a... Measure it up good. Big, big snapper bait, I reckon. I hear good things about the banana colour from different people here and there. Wait. Jeez, I'm not very good at putting it on. And it's wagging its tail as it's sinking, and it sinks slow as. Nice and slow, huh? <laughs> Fire it out there, right that way. Some days you go fishing, and it's like you can't do anything right, you can't catch fish. Other days you just go like that. 
I reckon you could have pretty much put it in the rod holder like we like was doing. <laughs> it was wicked. And that lures, that um, soft bait's got such a slow sink and it's just right now dropping, what are, how, what are they, 12 metres down. Tricked me. Do you want me to cast it for you? Because <laughs> I'm real good at it. <laughs> I got one! Is it a big one? <laughs> Not the one I want to catch, but it's a good fish, man. It's taken line. Andre better put a big banana on. I haven't had anything for it. Dude, just cast straight out there. Like I cast there and I didn't catch one, and I cast there and I caught one. If you cast straight out there, you'll get one. That's what I was doing. Just kind of jump in behind me and just cast straight out the way my rod's pointing. And I reckon you'll just, and just let it sink until you catch a fish. Do you want me to cast it for you, Andre? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been spoiled, unbelievably spoiled the last two times we've gone fishing. We've done nothing but struggle and Oh, the look at that. And... Beautiful fish, Nato. Oh, they just keep on getting bigger. I'll even take a photo of that one for you. Stunning. Bring him over the steps. He's a big one, Milan. Biggest of the day. <laughs> Check out my snapper! Oh, that is awesome! <laughs> what a cool, cool day! Quick photos and then we'll chuck them back. Did you get the photo? Got you a photo, bro. Okay, ready. Can you catch another one of those? Good chance of a monster here, eh? This is the time you pull out a 20 pounder, man. Not a donkey like your fellas, but it's a snapper. Yeah, it's a snapper and a kingfish today. Mind you, that'd be a big one compared to what we got at Crimandal last week. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty greedy, eh? Eating that big soft bait. Yeah. Oh, Andre's in. Oh, we're on the money now. <laughs> That's a better one. <laughs> nice snapper, Andre. <laughs> good ones, aren't they? Those are big snappers sitting up on top of this ball of bay day. Eh? Yeah. 15 metres down, Andre. Last time we were oh, here, yep, there were yep, kingies yep, on the yep. surface. This time, oh. there's a big snapper. You get pretty much one bite. The fish are like, it's a big school of bait, and then there's big fish sitting on top of the school, which I reckon a big snapper. At 15 metres, and we're in 45 metres of water. So once you go through that 15 metres, you get a bite, and then you pretty much just wind in and cast again. <laughs> How easy is that? Definitely wasn't the day to be cameraman, I can tell you that. <laughs> it was not the day, was it? If I knew I'd drive the thing, I'd give you a gun. Oh, oh, oh! He got off. <laughs> Speed release. Almost like meditation. Waiting for the loop just to go dunk. Tell us something wonderful, Nathan. It's just so peaceful. So unbelievably quiet. All you can hear is the waves over there. There isn't a boat anywhere. You can't literally cannot see another boat. Got a beautiful sunset happening. <laughs> Snapper hooked up. Lost in the Some, sometimes fishing is really easy, eh? Maybe it's a big school of Mau Mau down there in the snapper just hanging out with the Mau Mau. Mau Mau. Might be a bit of rain. A bit of rain, you reckon? That's us. One of the most epic days fishing-wise I've had in a long time. Just couldn't do no wrong. Everywhere we went, there was fish. 
bites, singing fish, sound is covered in bait. Just so unbelievably grateful to be out here doing what we do and calling it a job. <laughs> calling it work. We are headed home. NATO's butchering skills are going to come in very handy on this one. <laughs> got lots of fish. <laughs> We've got enough fish for a, definitely for ourselves and friends and family, and that's awesome. Day done. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants.